I'm Michael Belting, and today we're at the movies. Not one, but two Madam Web jokes were made today at the Oscars. Without sound, we wouldn't have been able to hear such classic lines as, you're gonna need a bigger boat. I'll have what she's having. And he was in the Amazon with my mother when she was researching spiders just before she died. Ryan Gosling's performance for I'm Just Ken from the hit film Barbie was spectacular. Kicking off the major awards with the picture in the motion picture, we have an accurate prediction with Oppenheimer's IMAX cinematography sweeping. A surprise turn of events in which the grandiose sound work on Oppenheimer loses to the much subdued and arguably more powerful message in the zone of interest. Director Jonathan Glazer compared the film's Holocaust setting to the current situation in Gaza. Whether the victims of October the 7th in Israel or the ongoing attack on Gaza, all the victims of this dehumanization, how do we resist? For our next major technical feat category, however, Oppenheimer was once again the winner, adding up to my predicted Oppenheimer sweep of the major categories. As expected, although Paul Giamatti's charming performance of The Holdovers was a standout, Killian Murphy's major leading role in this year's biggest awards contender was the tiebreaker, as Murphy took the award proudly. We made a film about the, the man who created the atomic bomb. For better or for worse, we're all living in Oppenheimer's world, so I would really like to dedicate this to the peacemakers everywhere. In the night's biggest shock, Lily Gladstone's monumental performance in Killers of the Flower Moon was struck down by Emma Stone's energetic and outlandish performance in Poor Things. Strong disagree on this decision, and it seems I'm not the only one. Christopher Nolan took the Best Directing Award that night, though, with it being the first Oscar out of his history of eight nominations. Uh, movies are just a little bit over 100 years old. I mean, imagine being there 100 years into painting or theater. We don't know where this incredible journey is going from here. To know that you think that I'm a meaningful part of it means the world to me. Thank you very much. The night was capped off with a guest appearance from Al Pacino as the legend stumbled his way to the winning envelope. And Maria is C. Oppenheimer. Yes. Yes, Emma Thomas, Charles Rogan. What happened? Congratulations to all our winners, and thank you, Academy.